Good day to you and welcome to Supermatics Online Math once again. In today's math tutorial, we are going to be showing how to find the LCM of two numbers and three numbers using the method of prime factorization. So sit back, enjoy as it unfolds. The first example we shall be considering is to find the LCM of 21 and 45. So in the method of prime factorization, we will first express each of the numbers as products of their prime factors. And to do this, we shall be using the factor tree diagram. Where 21 can be written as the product of 3 and 7. 3 is a prime number, so we have it circled. 7 is also a prime number, we have it circled. And there is no factor of 21 that can be further expressed as product of all the factors because they have all been circled. Now to 45. 45 first is 3 times 15. 3 being a prime number is circled and 15 being a non-prime number is expressed as the product of 3 and 5. 3 is a prime number we have it circled. 5 is another prime number, so we have it circled. Therefore, 21 and 45 as product of prime factors with 21, 3 times 7. And 45 is 3 times 3 times 5, so we'll be moving the 7 far in order to ensure that the same factor from the two numbers align. So for 45, we have 3 times 3 times 5 and we draw a line under them. So looking at every column that we've got here, because every column will be represented in the LCM. The first column is a three. The second column has got three, that's times three. The third column, five. And the fourth column is seven, such that the LCM is eventually the product of 3, 3, 5, and 7. That's 315 as the LCM of 21 and 45. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so now. Click on the notification bell to ensure that you do not miss out on any of our updates. And please do not go yet. The next example will show how to find the LCM of three numbers using the same method. To find the LCM of 12, 16, and 18, 12 first is the product of 2 and 6. 2 is circled being a prime number. Y6 is a non-prime number, so we have it written as 2 times 3. And then 2 circled being a prime number, and 3 also is circled. 12 is then 2 times 2 times 3. Then we go for 16. 16 is first 2 times 8, 2 is circled as a prime number, and 8 is expressed as the product of 2 and 4. Again, the 2 there is circled, with 4 expressed finally as the product of 2 and 2. And since they are prime numbers, we have them circled, which means that 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now on to 18. 18 is 2 times 9. 2 is circled as a prime number. Y9, a non-prime number, is written as 3 times 3. And that gives two prime numbers circled. Then 12 is written as a product of its prime factors as 2 times 2 times. We take the 3 far because 16 has got 2 times 2 in 4 places. Next is 16, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, ensuring that the numbers align. Then finally, 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. A line is ruled under as usual, where 2 from the first column, 2 is from the second column, times 2 from the third column, times 2 from the fourth column, times 3 from the 5th column and times 3 from the 6th column, meaning that the LCM of 12, 16, and 18 
is the product of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, which is 144. We believe you enjoyed the math tutorial. Here is an exercise for you. Find the LCM of 15 and 24. Leave your answer in the comment box. Share this video. Give it a like and ensure that you do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more math tutorial from us. So we see you again in our next math tutorial or any of our existing math videos. Please stay safe. Thank you.